Hey, this is Huang again, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your mini chatbot even smarter by making it wait for a specific condition before sending the next step. In the previous video on Bot Academy channel, I show you how to make your bot wait for a specific period of time before sending the next logical step in a flow of messages. If you haven't seen that video, please go check it out. So I know about these types of wait actions because I use something called Active Campaign for my email marketing automation. And Active Campaign has basically two types of wait. The first type is waiting for a specific period of time or until a certain date. The second type is uh, waiting for a condition to happen. And waiting for a condition to happen before uh, doing the next action is going to make the automation really, really smart. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that in ManyChat. So let's check out this situation that we have here. Okay, so uh, if you read that this message, if you send this message, um, it won't make sense because, for example, if someone um, doesn't click on this button and you say that thanks for checking out my video, it, it wouldn't make sense. We need to we need to somehow track if this person has clicked this button or not before sending this message. In ManyChat, you can only do that by setting up two messages in a sequence. So I'm going to show you how to do that in one message. Um, I'm going to show you how to make this message um, smarter and it will only send this message to the person who has clicked this uh, particular button right here. All right. so. Uh, if you haven't checked my previous video, please make sure to do that because I'm gonna go faster in this video. Okay, so we need to add a tag to track if the person has uh, visited this um, video that we're talking about. So let's add this tag right here. Okay, so now we have a tag to track if this person has clicked uh, this button or not. Now the next step is to wait for the tag to happen. So we're going to continue to the next step, but between that, we're going to add a wait and a uh, condition. Okay, so this is how we're going to add a wait, like I showed you in the previous video. Okay, so you can basically wait for any amount of time here. Um, and after the wait, we are going to add a condition. So this is pretty easy. So the condition is to check if the tag visited is there or not. Okay. So, so if it is there, then we send the next message. Okay, so we may want to add some delays here um, to make it look natural. So yeah, so when someone clicks on this, we don't immediately send this. We want to wait for a few seconds. Okay, so now we have something that only run once. So what we need to do is to create a loop here to continuously check for the tag before sending this message. So that's pretty easy by using um, the no action right here so connect the no back to this uh, wait now we need to remove the tag because people may go through your message several times and um, it won't work if we don't uh, reset the tag okay so the, add an action group here to remove this tag And here you go. Now we have something that waits for a particular action to happen before sending the next uh, message. So, and yeah, you can be creative with this by uh, sending a message when the tag is not found. Okay, so you can send a message for this. Um, please watch my video before it's gone. Right? And you can this so if you do this you need to set the wait longer because um, otherwise it's going to send uh, this message every three seconds okay so now we have something um, that works so yeah let me let me go back to the previous version and to test this so I can show you 
how it works on my phone all right okay so i'm gonna preview it okay so i got a message on my phone right here so at the moment well, that we are watching this the bot is constantly checking for the tag every three seconds because we set it three seconds right here and it's constantly constantly checking and it's just looping back to this uh, wait step right here and um, it doesn't send you notice that it doesn't send the next message which is thanks for checking out my video All right so now let me press on this um, check it out button and and let's see what happens okay so yeah it doesn't send the message right so let's check it out all right so i set the wait here to 10 seconds let's see after uh, a few seconds if it sends the message or not all right as you can see after a few seconds after we after only we click this button we will send this message so yeah it makes everything smarter if we implement this in our bot okay so before you go and build your smarter chat bot i want to show you one thing that i think is a good practice to do okay so if you look here this will loop indefinitely if the person doesn't uh, click on this button uh, check it out so i'm not a programmer but i think in um, programming leaving something that loops indefinitely is not good for anything so we need to somehow stop this after a certain time okay so to do that let's check it out yeah it looks complicated but I will explain everything right now so the theory is we will have a count on how many times that we have looped back to this weight okay so this weight um, is one second and we're going to loop for um, 10 times which is going to be 10 seconds in total and after after that 10 times of looping back if the person um, still doesn't click this button we're going to send a message or send him uh, to another step okay so here's how we do it first we will need to set a custom field which I called uh, loop count here so I will set it um, to zero so we we will reset it every time that person goes through this and and uh, go to this way so every time he goes to this way his um, cast and field loop count is set to zero and after that he will wait for one second and now he will go to this condition so this condition is if loop count is exactly 10 um, he will go to this message so it's if after 10 seconds he uh, still hasn't clicked this message he will go to this message now let's say that the person loop count is less than 10 so it's not 10 yet so he will be sent to this um, next condition which is checking if the tag visited is there or not okay so if the tag visited is there uh, similar as before he will be sent to this message if it's not it will loop back to this but before looping back to this we will add one to the loop count so every time the person goes through this he will be added uh, one to his loop count right here so after 10 times his loop count will be 10 exactly 10 and when it is exactly 10 uh, this message will be sent to increase the loop count by one you need to go here and select set um, increase the number by all right so this will increase the whatever uh, value is in the custom field by one and when you set the custom field make sure that you set the value type to number okay so now let's preview it to see what happens okay so let's go to my phone and I received a message right here and I will not click on any button Alright, so after 10 seconds, 
it sends this message. So you can be very creative with this. And for example, if you want to wait for one hour and send this um, next message, if the person doesn't take the action that you told them to. So yeah, this is a way to make your bot become smarter. So I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, please let me know by commenting on the video or uh, sending me an email to huang at chatbotprime.com. Thanks for watching and take care.